What's up, everybody? We're back for minute 12 of Iron Man 1. I'm Brian Ellis Clark. I'm Richard. And this is I Love You 3000 Minutes, the podcast that traveled back in time, Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet style, to rewatch all the minutes of the Infinity Saga one glorious minute at a time. You gotta tip that back. I know it'll look like a billboard, but when you look down, it covers your so, eyes. This right here, my that's eyes are not Alright, that's, okay. that's the line. Mm-hmm. Let's get into minute 12 of Iron Man 1, like I already said. And if you are torn between video and audio, lean towards audio. Then I'm able to compensate my co-hosts on these podcasts with a little bit of ad revenue. Richard, what happened in this minute? I think it's a lot of exposition on Pepper Potts and Tony Stark's relationship and a little bit more of Tony's life. I'm just going to buy this picture after I've been advised not to go after it. Just be uh, I think it's a house. Jackson Pollock? I think so. No. Oh, uh, representation he, of the spring? He he told her to buy it and store it. You're not going to store a house. I thought, I literally <laughs> just thought he's like, I'll buy houses. Let me let me just rewatch that again so I can relearn <laughs> he facts. Was just, he was just like, I feel like it. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. All right. All right, I literally thought it was some real estate agent saying, do you want this house? Wow. I've got another buyer offering it. And then spring period when they said it was the uh, area that he lived in. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So, go on. <laughs> um, <laughs> we skipped his plane waiting, which is teeing up uh, his arrival with Happy Hogan and Rhodes waiting for him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? That's, yeah. he's, he's, he, he messes up his attendance to that award ceremony. Yep. Um, award ceremony? Yeah, he's being presented an award, right? Oh, that's, no, that was, was, that was before. To. No, he's late to him arriving at the plane to fly to Afghanistan right. for that weapons presentation. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Um, so like, I had that. To, to me, it was a lot of exposition, but I, I mean, we should probably summarize it. A lot, right. lot of uh, informing in their relationship how he's rich and kind of doesn't respect the things that he buys. He does a lot of stuff that we can't do. Mm-hmm. We can't just say, I want to buy this thing and not ever see it. And mm-hmm. actually, uh, it'll be funny in the second one, he donates his entire art collection to the Boy Scouts of America <laughs> <laughs> as a tax write off. The MIT commencement, they're haranguing him. Uh, it's not till June, which makes sense. Uh, you know, you gotta probably have to harangue rich people to make sure they're gonna commit. And later we see in Captain America Civil War, he uh, is doing the graduation speech at mm-hmm. MIT, mm-hmm. perhaps. Um, although I don't think they're graduating. He does a speech at MIT, which of which he is an alum. Mm-hmm. Um, so that gets paid off later. It's funny how much the Russo is just much must rewatch these films is like you know what that's an interesting idea for a scene and marcus and mcfeely what does it mean to harangue someone again like kind of bug them like oh, hey, okay hey uh so you said you might want to do that do you want to do it mm-hmm. but they they have to keep asking because obviously mm-hmm. he's not giving a definitive yes or no mm-hmm. all right so and the final thing is he can tell that she's rushing him. There's mm-hmm. something different. We haven't seen an example of her not rushing him, but him saying, "Why are you rushing me? I don't like this." Uh, mm-hmm. he, he's picking up on something different, and he's not as uh, caring a boss <laughs> to know it's her birthday, <laughs> but he can tell when something's different about her. And it cuts off with her saying, "I'm allowed to have plans on my birthday. I don't like that you have plans. It's your birthday." And that's where we end this minute. Do you have anything else? It was a lot of exposition. However, it was kind of quickly giving us information about his character and their relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, Even more so than just the flashiness of his character that we got between him and Rhodes. Anything else? Yeah, just come on, Stoney. (laughs) Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. Remember, it's her bir- <laughs> it's her birthday. Like I literally on, didn't man. know what you were talking about when you said Stony. <laughs> come on, Stony. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, all that's right. that's not his drug of choice. <laughs> but what's in the? All right, let's look at. Let's do one There's, pass of all the background. There's a art piece that seems to have a lot of 
uh, squares. It has. It's like the shape of the flag, kind of. You know how they take a bunch of pictures and then make someone's face out of it when you zoom out. Mm-hmm. It has a bunch of things that come together to look like a f- the American flag. Oh, he's a patriot. Look in yeah. the corner at the eight second mark of this minute. We see a picture of his dad doing the same exact thing, possibly with that same exact vehicle. And let's see in the background we got pure all pep. A f- Big fat fire extinguisher. Mm-hmm. Um, so the seat in that, and then the seat in the picture with his dad is the same color. I'm just. It doesn't show the seat, but it shows the nose of it. You know. Mm. Okay, maybe that's not the seat. Okay. It looks very sim- like he's doing the same thing to the engine. Mm-hmm. And we got some an oxygen tank. Probably not oxygen. Probably something else. Um, all right, scrub, and we got a motorcycle. Scrubbing a little further. What was that on TV there? Is it... Can you make that out? It seems like it's just paused, right? I guess. Reminded me of the, uh... The, uh... The villain from the second Iron Man. What's his name? Whiplash? No. Third Iron Man. <laughs> the Mandarin? Yeah. Reminds me of the Mandarin a little bit. How so? Like that little squiggly is the beard, that bottom part, and then the dark eyes. I don't know. I thought that was a face there, but I could be wrong. Gotcha. I, it might be nothing. Well, we see the art piece that he replaces in two with his Iron Man logo next to the TV. Mm-hmm. <laughs> his, his Iron Man art that he gets. And then as we walk through... Is this a video of this? No, this is a screensaver uh, of his dad. As we walk through, let's see, we got picture of a bunch of cars that might get some heat damage from his repulsors later <laughs> that also have the license plates like stark one two three but we'll see that later and his workspace and a little jukebox we got a little jukebox back there that makes sense later when he snaps his fingers and he's uh doing like testing stuff out uh and water perrier and i don't i can't <laughs> yeah. tell what's on that bottom shelf yeah perrier it looks like there's martini glasses <laughs> As yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. So that's what type of uh, libations he wants. for uh, Libations for every mood. What is this, a coffee maker? He does have a, a little cappuccino in the second one around that area. Mm. And then we got another workstation in the back with a nice looking gamer chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah with, that's it. With three monitors. A, a racing seat gamer chair, yeah. I, I wonder if he had a, uh, you know, a sequence where he gamed later on. And maybe a deleted scene. But anything else for minute 12, Richard? Mm. No. No, I, I was basically like, it's exposition. You explained all of the exposition very well. All right. So, so I'm going to keep posting on Instagram. You should check that out if you want to watch the minutes. And there'll be extra posts around more details if we want to add there. So check out the Instagram. I love you 3,000 minutes. And we'll see you in minute 13. Lucky number 13. I hope I post minute 13 on a Friday. Forgot the outro? I'm Richard. I'm Brian. You've got an army. We've got a podcast.